they guide every aspect of service delivery uh, in the public service. Mm -hmm. And the key one, the, 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 the most important one, is to understand that you are there courtesy of the Mwanainji. Yeah. That office mm -hmm. that you occupy mm -hmm. in the public service mm -hmm. is for you to deliver services to the Mwanainji. You hold it in trust of the Mwanainji. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that, that's why the Constitution uh, provided for those values uh, of the public service mm -hmm. in uh, Article 234. And then Parliament went ahead and enacted an act to operationalize that, that particular article. Mm -hmm. So we have an act on uh, values and principles of the public service, and then we have the, the constitutional provisions of the same. And, 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 and now this public service officer, let me, uh, 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 let me just phrase it that way, um, the particular office that they hold has uh, a mandate, and it is because of uh, the people, the Monainchi, that they sit in that office. Yeah. Um, how should they be able to promote these values as they interact yes. with the common man yes. you know when when that person knocks at their door mm -hmm. um to come and uh, seek assistance in one way or the other of course in regard to that particular office that they hold mm -hmm. you know what should this particular public uh, uh, you know officer mm -hmm. public service servant understand mm -hmm. that i also have a, a, a role to play yes. in in, 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 in this particular office that I hold, even as I attend to this particular individual who is sitting in front of me wanting my uh, you know, att attention. Uh, you, know, you know, all of us occupy different offices yeah. and deliver different services uh, to the public. The first and foremost thing, the uh, realization that a public servant should have is that when a citizen walks into that office, you must realize and it must be at the back of your mind that you are seated where you are seated mm -hmm. uh, in trust. This guy that is walking to your office mm -hmm. has trusted you with that position that you hold in the public service. Mm -hmm. You must be responsive. You must mm -hmm. show that you are there to deliver a service that is required by this person. It is not uh, umekuja kufanya nini kwa ofisi yangu, mm. ama yeah. toka kwa ofisi yangu, you know that no, kind no, of language. Unanisumbua ya busy. Amo mbono unanisumbua ya busy, or you walk into an office and what you find is uh, is my court, not myself. <laughs> the court will not provide you with any service. So yeah. we must be responsive. The mm -hmm. public servant must realize that the office that they are holding is uh, is on trust. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. we all realize that, then it will be, it will be different. Starting from everybody across the board you know mm -hmm. it, it it is an issue that it is not just uh, for certain offices it is for everybody mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is in an, mm -hmm. a, a position that that is a public position and and this is why it's important for us to uh, have positive and constant interactions with our public servants you know so that when you visit them you know uh, you know get, get to uh, understand their roles and uh, you know get to know also your place in uh, affecting or uh, you know helping them in in, in uh, establishing their duties because even though the public servant was put there by the Mwananchi, a Mwananchi also have a role to play in ensuring that their work is also uh, implemented and uh, there we go back to the constitution. The constitution says that these values mm. bind every citizen. It is not, there's, it's stated there, mm. state officers, public officers, everybody. But at the, at the, at the conclusion of that, uh, that, that, uh, that provision, uh -huh. it says ev everybody in society has a role, has a role to play. Wow. They, those wow. values do not just bind me mm. or you, they also bind the citizen in the street. The citizen has to conduct himself in a manner mm -hmm. that uh, that realizes that he is also bound by by the values mm -hmm. that we gave ourselves in uh, Article 10 of the Constitution. Of the Constitution. Yes. And that is why you should not say that it is. You don't have a role to play. You do have a role to the play. The values are not. Uh, <laughs> they are not for public servants. Uh -huh. the values are for all of us um, across the board. Let's look at uh, the national values and principles of governance. Um, when you talk about principles of governance, mm. just in a nutshell, by definition, mm. what exactly are we looking at? Are, are we talking about here? We are talking about expectations mm -hmm. uh, in terms of governance of what the citizen expects from government. Mm -hmm. There are principles that the, 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 the state or government has to abide by mm -hmm. in terms of how they relate 
to the citizen. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. the in a nutshell. That Prince, is what it is. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yes. uh -huh. We talk uh -huh. about accountability, we talk about transparency, uh -huh. all these things that we expect. Manaiji expects that uh, the government, the government will deliver services, uh -huh. the government will conduct itself in an accountable way and uh -huh. in an open manner uh -huh. so, so that, that that particular relationship uh -huh. is not just a relationship that is one way. It is we live by the values and uh -huh. we expect uh, this kind of contact from mm -hmm. the, the people that are, uh, that are responsible. In terms of delivery now. Exactly. And, and, and how do we now fuse them together? So we, put, we fuse principles of governance mm -hmm. and national values mm -hmm. together to work one, one good meal. Uh, it, is, it is indeed one good meal. And if you look at uh, the, the 17 values uh -huh. that we have in the constitution, if uh, we were just to focus hmm. as a country or as a society, we are just to focus on living and practicing the 17 values, yeah. then you will not even need to look at any other part of that constitution, I can assure you. <laughs> you <laughs> will live it, in peace forever thereafter. In a way, one, par, one value uh, uh, has an effect on another, another Ex article of the constitution. Exactly. Every way that we need to contact ourselves as a people or as a country is provided for in the 17 values. Mm -hmm. If we were to exercise those values, we will we'll, we'll be okay. It will be okay. And just to mention, mm. we, as I said earlier, we did not just uh, wake up and, and decide that uh, we'll put uh, transparency and accountability in the, in the Article 10, we'll put uh, the rule of law, we'll put patriotism, we'll put national unity and all this. Mm -hmm. If you look at these values that we have been discussing, individual values, family values, uh, communal values, we are talking about religious values, mm -hmm. institutional values, then you can clearly see where we got the values from. Mm -hmm. If we can call those particular values as the sources of national values, we will not be wrong. We looked at a complete set of values that exist within society, mm -hmm. within institutions, within the family and all that, and then we gave ourselves the, the, the values that we found mm -hmm. in Article 10. So they are not mm -hmm. strange. It is only now that they are in the constitution as, mm -hmm. as national values and principles. Wow, and wow, values. wow. Interesting, interesting. Exactly. As, as you continue to give us your thoughts in regards to this, the hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel. I shall read uh, a few. Uh, tell us all where you're watching us from. And then we shall be able to uh, sample uh, uh, the, your feedback a bit later on. But now, let's look at, uh, because we, we've talked about national values. Huh? Are there international values, universal values? Mm. Yeah, there, there are international values. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are ways that the international community or the global community, mm -hmm. and you know, we keep saying that uh, the world has become a global village. Uh, there are international, there are, there are international uh, or global ways that are acceptable, have over time become acceptable that nation states or countries should conduct themselves in a certain manner. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones mm -hmm. that we, we can call international, international or global values, values mm -hmm. or universal values, if you call it. If you look at uh, 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 certain, certain, uh, certain provisions, that have come from uh, conventions, that have come from uh, decisions by international bodies like mm -hmm. the UN, mm -hmm. that guide the contact of, uh, of governments or, or, or contact of states, then we, therefore, we can derive, we can call those the, the international values. And these are the or things we can call acceptable ways of contacting ourselves uh, as human beings. We can mm -hmm. also call those uh, the, 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 the universal values. And, 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 and this means that one state and another, another state, mm. you know, uh, every state has a role to play in regards to how they relate with each, each, exactly. each other in terms of international relations, exactly. you know, and, and promoting of, uh, you know, um, uh, the different countries regardless of whether they are third world or not. Um, what, how big is it? Uh, because now we, we know that every state belongs to a particular block or a particular institution. We have the UN, you know, uh, and many others. In terms of the international sector, in the international scene, what role does Kenya as a country have to play in promoting the uh, you know, international values between itself and another? Uh, 
we are part of the global community. Yeah. So there, there's no way that the, what is happening out there will not affect us. Mm. And as a country, uh, even as we gave ourselves these national values, we were keen to project a certain image. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm. We are not just uh, a country that exists uh, and cannot be defined in, uh, in any particular manner. Mm -hmm. We are a country that wants to be defined as a country that is, uh, has citizens who are patriotic, mm -hmm. guided by the rule of law, mm -hmm. uh, governed in a transparent and accountable manner, uh, promotes uh, or seeks to, 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 to develop in a sustainable manner. So all that, all the values that we have are supposed to project a certain image mm -hmm. for this country internationally. All right. And on the other way, from mm. out there, mm. we have those those guidelines, we have those conventions, we have those uh, decisions that have been made by international uh, organizations and others that countries subscribe to. Mm -hmm. And therefore, mm -hmm. we also need to live by what we subscribe to at the international level. All right. And uh, mm. just to mention, mm. it's if you look at just the, 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 the across the board, you realize that values affect the way we relate even out there. It yeah. is not just inside there, inside yeah. here. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you hear uh, the, the international organizations that uh, deal with corruption, international organizations that deal with the rule of law, accusing a country, country mm -hmm. A or country B, not, not following uh, those, those particular, uh, the, 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 the expectations that are there in, uh, in those particular areas, then of course you know that there's a problem inside mm -hmm. as relates to national values. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I'm, I'm looking at still, as a country, um, uh, as Kenya, we're looking into Vision 2030. Exactly. We have that particular vision. Yes. And I'm looking into uh, how far we are in uh, achieving social, economic, and political trans transformation of, uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, of this particular uh, uh, vision, um, changing the uh, outlook mm -hmm. of the nation, in the, uh, of course, considering Vision 2030. Mm -hmm. How far are we now in uh, implementing national values you know, in this particular spectrum? Uh, if you look at uh, the the vision 2030, the vision itself mm. normally is depicted in the form of a house that yeah. looks like this, mm. with the uh, with the pillars: the political pillar, the social pillar, the economic pillar. Mm -hmm. uh, at the background, at the base of that house, the foundation is national values, yeah. and therefore it means that the pillars of the vision are found. cannot stand mm -hmm. if the values are not there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And therefore, national values and principles of governance are a key, very key aspect of the vision. And that is why we are engaging public institutions, uh, ministries, uh, state departments, departments, uh, uh, parastatos, sagas, mm -hmm. public institutions, all of them. We are engaging them to make sure that the national values and principles of governance mm -hmm. are mainstreamed in their programs, projects, and activities mm -hmm. to make sure that every project that is delivered has a bearing on national values and principles of governance or must take into consideration the national values and principles of governance. So, so that engagement is ongoing. As mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, the vision is, uh, it's, it's, we're looking at 2030, but uh, a lot of work has gone into that. Uh, mm -hmm where we are with the vision, probably that's not my area to speak to, mm -hmm. but where we are in terms of mainstreaming mm -hmm. national values and principles of governance mm -hmm. into the activities leading to the realization of the vision, yeah. I can tell you we've made a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. uh, every time that we are preparing the annual, annual presence report mm -hmm. on national values and principles of governance, mm -hmm. we engage practically all institutions in government. Mm -hmm. And they tell us exactly what they have done to mainstream national values and principles of governance mm -hmm. in their respective programs, uh, development programs, activities, and their day-to-day -day operations. And all institutions so, participate in it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, so the, 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 the national values and principles of governance and the vision are intertwined. They are closely, they are very connected. Has, we remove the national values, mm -hmm. then 
the vision comes down. Everything crumbles. Yes. Has the pandemic affected uh, uh, the, uh, the, the progress? Uh, as far as our programs are concerned, mm. the only program that I will say has been affected mm. uh, adversely is the youth programs, uh, the youth and uh, FBOs programs that we have uh, at the counties. Okay. Because we are not able to meet them, we are not able to engage them one on one. Mm -hmm. And you, as you realize from this discussion, mm. there are so many questions that arise all the time that relate to national values. Yeah. But as far as engaging public institutions, I think we are one, one of the first uh, government institutions to go virtual and we have done very well. Mm -hmm. uh, at one point, we, when we were launching the preparation of the, of the 2020 Annual President's Report, mm -hmm. we were hosting uh, virtually more than 400 public, uh, wow. senior wow. public servants. Wow. That's a big achievement. Li listening to us. Mm -hmm. And it works. Uh, the, virtual, the virtual way of doing things works. works. The so problem is that we cannot conduct this <laughs> interview probably uh, as effectively as we are doing mm -hmm. uh, virtually. virtually. But, uh, not not much effect on on what we do as a director mm -hmm. exactly. and uh, as a director so far you cannot say that all is uh, uh, lost actually we have taken uh, positive steps and uh, things are well in line with the uh, vision all is not uh, there's nothing lost mm -hmm. we, we are on course okay as okay. far as uh, the mainstreaming of national values and uh, and principles of governance are concerned mm -hmm. we are on course uh, the level of awareness that we have now uh, relating to national values and principles of governance is it's, uh, fairly high. Uh, just to mention, in 2015, we commissioned uh, KIPRA, mm. uh, the Kenya Institute for Public Policy Research, uh, uh, which, which, uh, which, uh, which basically uh, does uh, surveys, and research for government. Mm -hmm. We commissioned them, we worked together with them to, to find out, to, to have a, a feel of the status in terms of compliance, awareness mm -hmm. of national values, both in public institutions mm -hmm. and also in, uh, in the, in the, among the citizens. Mm -hmm. And it is out of the results of that survey that we got recommendations on what to do. We are not just walking in the dark. We are doing things fairly wow, wow, scientifically. Wow, 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 wow. We conducted a baseline survey that uh, tell, told us where we are in 2015 in terms of uh, awareness and, uh, and uh, compliance with national values. Mm. Recommendations were made by the survey. Mm -hmm. We are due for another survey this year so that now we see mm. the work that we have done since 2015. You have a, what, the, what has been the impact? This year around uh, what's, which month? Uh, it's in the works. We are, the works. We, are, we, are, we are at the planning stage. But for last year, were you, you, you were able to, to, to find out some, some loopholes and some strengths uh, ex and exactly, some weaknesses? Exactly. Mm. That survey, uh, just to mention, recommended extensive uh, awareness campaigns, which we have been conducting. Mm -hmm. It recommended uh, sensitizations and training in public institutions. Mm -hmm. it, it recommended also the, the, a wider distribution of the annual report on uh, national values and principles of governance. Mm -hmm. It also recommended a, a more... Uh, uh, intensive engagement with stakeholders mm -hmm. and the stakeholders include the media and mm -hmm. that is part of why we are speaking that's to why we today. are here yeah. today yeah. of which you are, you're working on those on those, on we those are implementing, implementing those, things. Those, those recommendations good work good yeah. work good work mm -hmm. um, uh, let's bring this conversation to a close here mm -hmm. because in in the end you're saying that we need to go to uh, you know people on the ground machinani mm -hmm. in ensuring these things are done. Uh, what would be your final word to the youth that are watching you today, this morning, as we wrap this conversation up? Uh, that is your camera. You can speak to them. Uh, to the youth of this country, I would like to say that uh, all is not lost. Uh, I think sometimes when uh, you find yourselves in certain situations that are not very favorable to you, then uh, you start, desperation starts creeping in. We are, our appeal is that uh, we can change this country by observing and practicing the national values and principles of governance that are in Article 10. They may be too abstract, as in the way they are in Article 10, mm -hmm. but it is our effort and government effort to make sure that these values make sense to you as, as a citizen, and particularly as a youth in this country. If you are to practice these national values, then uh, a lot of things that are going wrong 
will be able to correct them and will be able to call those who are doing uh, wrong things mm -hmm. to account. Wonderful. Exactly. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for, uh, for joining me and for finding time to come here. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you, Ram. And uh, just, just before I close, yeah. uh, it is uh, our wish that mm. uh, we can continue this conversation. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's an important conversation, particularly going to a, a TV station that is dedicated to the youth. Yeah. Uh, the interaction will make a lot of sense to the youth in this country, mm -hmm. I hope. Uh, yeah, and, and, and we need to have this conversation, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, because you mentioned something there that is enshrined in the Constitution. And, uh, you know, um, I'm looking at whether, as to whether it is also having also a, a, uh, any solution, you know, on the ground for you. Are you seeing that we have this thing in the constitution and it's working, you know? Many are saying that we have the policies, yes. but the implementation is a, problem. is a problem, you know? So is that an issue, you know? Uh, we need to have this particular conversation uh, more Definitely. on constitutional, uh, uh, you know, uh, reforms and the constitutional implementation and sticking to the rule of law and also maintaining these national values. Thank you for coming. Thank I you, appreciate thank it. You, thank you, and I wish you the best. So far, you've done a good job. <laughs> and uh, uh, let me just take a look at what people are saying on, on online. Uh, thank you very much to Lois Molly. Uh, uh, I'm, look, I'm looking at Masai Oko. Okoiti, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we are, uh, this is uh, Arnold, and I say I'm watching you from Kasarani. I'm looking at Rosalind. Okay, and I say my interesting conversation with the Mahesh. Uh, pass my regards. I love the passion that he has in promoting national values. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just read one more. Let me refresh that. All right. I'm looking at uh, this is. Uh, Ladasha, Nasema, uh, following the conversation from Makuyu. Uh, thank you so much, Ladasha. This is uh, 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 Mary. Thank you for uh, for bringing Mohesh. I I never knew uh, we had this kind of institution that exists. At least today I've learned something new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The director is we there. We appreciate. We appreciate. Huh? We appreciate. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was with uh, Josiah Musili, who is the secretary at the Directorate of National Cohesion and Values from the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government. This has been a very interesting conversation right here on Why in the Morning. Remember to keep the conversation going. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. As for us, thank you very much for finding time to join me. Thank you for sticking to Y254. Thank you for making this program what it is. On behalf of the directors, the producers, and everyone who ensured this show was a, su a, a success. And uh, big thanks to the uh, directorate. I want to say God bless you. And may God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Maguko. Good morning. This is why in the morning.